YouTube, what's going on? This is Zach Talker Forever. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a brand new how to video. And this how to video, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to port forward and QoS your Xbox 360 using the Netgear Nighthawk. Alright, so the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to actually want to go to your Xbox 360 and go to settings. And from there, I'll show you guys how to find your IP address and your MAC address. Because that's what you're gonna need to do to find your Q um, to set up your QoS and port forwarding. Okay, guys. So now we are at the Xbox 360. So I'm gonna show you guys how to find your IP address and your MAC address. So the first step that you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to settings, and then after that. The next step that you're going to want to do is go to network settings and just press on that. Okay, now you're going to want to pick your available network that you use, whether it's wired or wireless. doesn't really matter. It's basically all the same. And then after that, you're going to want to go to Configure Network. Okay, so after you're at Configure Network, you can see the first thing is IP address. What you're going to want to do is memorize that IP address. It's 192.168.1.4. That's my IP address. Yours is going to be different, of course. But yeah, just memorize that. You're going to need that for QoS and port forwarding. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is just go to additional settings and then go to the second to the second box where it says advanced settings and everything. Just click on that. And then you can see on the bottom left, you can see your MAC address. Uh, you can also want to memorize that, not really, but uh, to know for port forwarding and for QoS. So now we're going to want to go to back to the computer. Okay, so after you found your... IP address and your MAC address what you're going to want to do is now that you're back on your computer is the first step is to make sure that you're connected to the Nike Nighthawk after that the next step that you're going to want to do is just open the browser and then just type in your IP address which is which should be 192.168.1.1 and then from there it will ask you your username and password Usually I just have mine on default which is admin and the password is password. And from there it'll go to the start page and just go to advance. And then you're gonna wanna go to advanced setup and then click port forward. From there basically you just click add custom service. give the service a name I'm just gonna put Xbox 360 and then usually the Xbox 360 starting and ending point are usually 3074 or both the starting and the ending port and the IP address that you saw on your Xbox that's what you're gonna need to put all you have to do is just put the last digit and what's good about the Netgear Nighthawk is that it remembers every like all the devices that are connected to it right now so um, as you can see here's my IP address that was the Xbox so just press on that and just click apply and then there you go that's how you pour forward your Xbox 360 next let's just go to the QoS setup there just go upstream QoS Set up QoS rule. Now the Netgear Nighthawk automatically detects an Xbox 360 in progress, and it puts the priori the priority to high. Uh, that's a good that's a good like setting, but um, I don't really recommend it. Uh, I'll do it myself. So just go to add priority rule. Now there's two ways on how to prioritize. <laughs> I can't speak today. How to um, 
give you Xbox 360 high priority either through um, wired if you are connected to the Nekia Nighthawk wired or if you're connected wireless so if you're connected to um if you're connected to the Nekia Nighthawk through LAN port which is basically wired then just click on Ethernet LAN port and uh, click the port that you are connected to and then give it to the highest priority if you want because that's what we're basically wanting we want no lag in our gaming we want like smooth gaming no problems whatsoever so just give it the highest priority uh, but if you are connected wirelessly you're going to want to go to your Mac address and then what you saw from your Xbox 360 the Mac address you're just going to want to put that in but what's also good is that you know uh, Netgear also has the device name and the Mac address so you're just going to want to remember I guess like maybe like the four four digits that that's about it so here's my Mac address if you saw it from the Xbox 360 put that give it a device name I'm going to put Xbox 360 give it the highest priority As well, Xbox 360. Hit apply, and there you go. After that, just hit apply again, and then now you has have successfully put a QoS setup uh, to your Xbox 360. So now you would have the highest priority, and hopefully have a smooth gaming when you're playing multiplayer. Uh, another thing that you could do is to make sure that you won't have any lag or anything like that is you could go to the WAN setup and where it says default DMZ server you could want to check that and then want to put in the last digit it'll just it'll already, f it'll already fill out the three boxes and just put the last digit for me it's four yours will obviously be different and what DMZ does is that it has not uh, server and what that is is like secure and everything make sure that you don't get hacked or anything and usually gamers don't really care about that it's not secure at all like it takes away the security and everything but usually there's no hackers or anything so you don't really have to worry about that also what you're gonna want to do is go to nap filtering and uh, change it from secure to open that's why I did so like if you go on Call of Duty Ghost and you, you're in the multiplayer menu on the very bottom right where it says NAT type it will usually say moderate, strict, or open open is the best because then you'll get the least lag and everything so more people can join you know so basically that's how it is you'll get the best settings um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this actually helped you guys on how to um very much reduce the lag in gaming for your Xbox 360 that's basically what this was uh, I showed you guys how to uh, QoS setup and port forwarding setup DMZ setup and also the NAT filtering so this better help you guys because if it doesn't just leave your comment below uh, tell me what you think about it tell me if it helped you guys if it did then great hit that like button if it didn't then oh well please don't hit that dislike button <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. As always, this is Xoxaka Forever, signing off. Peace.